Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of June 7th through the 13th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to all of you who have recently subscribed to my channel and helping it grow. Thank you very much for doing that as well as those who have watched my videos and give them thumbs up. Thank you again. And your first card out. Ooh, wish fulfillment. Lovely. Nine of Cups. So, in the recent past, maybe, or maybe for quite a long time ago, you had made some sort of, you know, off flitting hand wish, and here it comes. You know, people are going to tell you, like, wow, you have no idea. It could be money coming in for some of you this as well. And that allows you with the Ten of Rods, to lay those burdens down. They weren't yours to pack around this long. Maybe initially they were partly yours, maybe just too much. This could be a job where, you know, they just kept adding on more and more, you know, things that you had to do. And this is the week that you're saying, you know what, when I started, this was not what we were doing. And unless you're going to pay me more, or get me help, I'm not doing it anymore. So good on you. And the three of rods, and there you are, standing on the edge, looking out into the future, solid ground. You know, you've got your ships out there, just waiting for your harvest to come in. Maybe you've decided that you're moving on to better, calmer shores in your life, whether that's a relationship or your job, but you're in, you know, you've done a lot and things, whatever it is that you're trying to get off the ground is going to not only get off the ground, but it's going to grow in your favor. Yep. The Eight of Cups. So, yeah, most definitely. You've put a lot of energy, you know, maybe you've been hanging on to this for so long and you just didn't quite realize what a burden it has become to you. You know, you've always tried to pick up the pieces fix things, make sure everything runs smooth in the home or in your relationships. And now you've decided that, you know what, when is it my turn? When is it my time? And you're willing to cut your losses for your own better happiness and just walk away. So maybe that's what some of you are going to plan on doing here right quickly. Yeah, five of cups. A little bit of remorse, looking back, spending a little bit of time of, you know, what if I could have, should have, would have. But you're also realizing that you can now see it coming. You know, you're not got rose colored glasses on anymore or making excuses for other people's behavior. You're okay with saying, no, nah, this isn't going to happen. And you're, you know, putting it to memory and turning around and moving forward. Yeah, and the world card. So there it is. You have come to some sort of realization, finish line, crossroad, whatever you prefer to choose to say. And now you're stepping into your own peace of mind and you're starting over fresh in your life, regardless of race, color, creed, or age. You're starting over in some new endeavor in your life. You're moving forward. You're more confident. You're more comfortable with yourself. And you're realizing that you're doing the right action to continue for this to be growing and going forward for yourself. So congratulations. And the fool. Yeah, you've maybe put this off for a long time. And this is the week that you decided that, you know, if I don't step forward, I may never step forward. So you're taking that leap of faith and starting over in your life in some manner, whether that's your relationships or your job, family, friendships, and, you know, whatever you've decided to put off for a long time, your dreams, it's time for you to make your dreams become a reality. You know, you're also making sure that everything is in its proper order before you do this. You're not just going off helter skelter you're making sure that your bills are paid so that when you're stepping into this new life that it's going to be a moment in your life that you realize that I finally did it wow 
And the justice, yeah. For some of these, this could be an unfortunate divorce case, a settlement, something that, you know, you could have been living together for many, many years and you decided that, you know, no, the house wasn't just yours, it's ours, and, you know, you're going to have to buy me out sort of thing, so it has to go to court. Uh, this could be a legal contract for a job, settlement coming in, uh, settling of old debts owed to you, you owed to somebody else, and then you're wiping the slate clean. You can start fresh. You know, it's not going to be easy, but you're going to do it because you know it's the right time for you. And the hermit. And then you're going to take a little bit of time out for yourself. Maybe you're just going to go sit in a room somewhere, watch, you know, drown yourself in movies so that you don't have to think about anything. You know, get into Netflix or whatever it happens to be. And you're just taking a well-deserved time out for yourself. It doesn't always have to mean you've got to travel. You could just, you know, sit out in the backyard if you have nice weather where you're at. And just, you know, listen to the neighborhood. Not think about anything. Ooh, the Two of Cups. Wow, love on offer. This could be somebody from your past. Maybe you've heard from somebody that you haven't heard from for a long time. You know, and they've tracked you down. Or perhaps you've tracked them down. Mutual friends, that sort of thing. But there's some sort of encounter here. You know, love is in the air for you. Wow, beautiful. You know. It's not like it's a strange, this person is a stranger to you when you meet them. It's like you know them. So that's such a comfortable and beautiful position. Ooh, look at that, the sun. Wow. Everything is going your way. You're accomplishing things. Your renewed health is coming back. You're feeling more lucky in life in general. You're motivated to keep moving forward because you just put you were putting one foot in front of the other and now it's more like a nice steady stride and you know people are starting to notice it about you you're starting to um, shine stick out in a good way you know you got that va va voom back with yourself and you're just enjoying yourself things are starting to happen around you and it seems to be putting more of a smile on your face with each Thing. you're just lighting up from the inside and the temptress beautiful new beginnings you know people in your life you're starting over with fresh eyes better health and definitely a good peace of mind you know you've listened to everybody's stuff in your life you've listened to both sides you know if it was a disagreement you listen to both sides of the arguments but you know within yourself of who's doing what, where, and how. So you're okay with this. You, you just sort of let it unfold. You're not trying to control it. It's just going to happen naturally. And you're all right with it. You're not trying to compromise anything that you've accomplished or done in your life. It's just the bottom line. You're, you're just going to make everything's going to flow in a positive way into your life now. So that's beautiful. And the seven of rods. So most definitely, stand in your ground, determined as ever, and you're very capable of it. You know, you know that it wasn't easy, but your decisions are final. You're not changing your mind. You're going forward, and you're so determined, like it's just almost oozing out your pores. <laughs> like you're just. You know, you don't want to have to keep battling, you know, like David and Goliath all the time. You just, you want to, when you do something, you don't want to have to second guess it or worrying about somebody having the right to say something. You know, you've been putting um, other people in front of you for so long that it's it's cost you many in the, in the, in the long term. So you're getting control over this, you know. And in some cases, it's not fun you've had to take a few falls but you've picked yourself up and you've determined to move forward and that's where you're at in your life and and you know it's going to be quite magical when you do it you know you're gonna definitely have to drag yourself through it but once you make your mind up to go and start this it will just start to fall into place for you so wow
All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card. But your cards are so positive. You know, starting over, new beginnings, you know, new romance for many of you. You just got a happy week this week. All right. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow the spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And there you are. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.